Hi, today we're going to look at a really cool feature of the 4 Series MSO called Spectrum View. Now a lot of oscilloscope users um, tend to sometimes want to see signals in the RF domain and previously they had to rely on an FFT which isn't always as usable or as accurate as a, a dedicated spectrum analyzer but with Spectrum View we've come up with something a little bit different than FFT. So I'm looking at a spread spectrum clock uh, around about the 98 megahertz, which I can just confirm by opening up the measurement tab. So there we have it. So it's about 98 megahertz, 99 um, hovering around. So if I wanted to activate spectrum view and take a look at this signal in the RF domain, I simply go to channel one and select the spectrum view option and just put the display on. So there I have now a spectrum, an RF domain view of the same signal input in channel one. And it's completely independent. So even if I was to adjust my acquisition on my time domain, it does not affect my spectrum view. And we have some dedicated RF controls here. So if I wanted to change the center frequency to match that of my clock, if I go to 98, and dial the span down a little bit. So therefore I'm looking at a more representative view of the spread spectrum. So there's my perfectly um, displayed RF measurement. And if I was to adjust my time domain, it is completely independent of the RF domain signal in the spectrum view. A very cool feature of the 4 series. So I've gone one step further and I've added uh, a traditional FFT. So the FFT is on the left hand side. I still have my spectrum view at the top right. And this is my traditional time domain measurement here. Um, so as you can see, the signals look pretty similar. But what if I was to look closer into my time domain? So narrow the acquisition down a little bit. And as you can see, as I'm going and changing my horizontal and looking at a more narrower signal, my FFT then becomes pretty unusable uh, in terms of making any accurate measurements. And I mean, even if I wanted to go and look at the individual waveforms of the clock, then my FFT then is just, it's basically a, a straight line, which is, which is pretty useless for taking measurements. But my spectrum view being independent of the actual time domain view remains unchanged. I can still see and make accurate measurements in the RF domain